we are going to be able to study the three-dimensional structure of the human genome using a whole variety of methods, not just one method like microscopy or some biochemical methods that we developed, but really to integrate all these different methods uh, by bringing together people with all these different expertises and really focus on this singular problem uh, and try to understand uh, the structure of the genome both by, by visual optics and looking inside real cells as well as doing more genomics, uh, population-based, high-throughput experimentation. Imagine the human genome, it's a tremendously long molecule and it has to fit inside something like this. This is like the human nucleus and the genome would be as long as the road all around campus. And it has to fit inside this cell and the cell has found ways to pack up that genome and organize it in very, very tight spaces. And while doing so, it can still read that genome, it can still access that genome and get information out of it. So cells have evolved very special ways to fold very long chromosomes into very tiny spaces. And our challenge is, um, that we are really interested in addressing, is how do cells do that? Like what is that structure inside the cell? And how is it organized in such a way that cells can still access genomic information, read genes and turn genes on and off? Once we have some kind of a three-dimensional picture of this structure, we'd like to know how it works uh, in two ways. First, how do cells build this structure? Uh, there must be very special machinery inside cells um, that take pieces of DNA and fold it up like you would fold up a piece of paper. The second is, once this structure is formed, how does it work in terms of regulating certain parts of the genome, like turning on one gene or turning off another gene? Uh, again, the structure is probably instructive, uh, but we don't know how. And the way to start to address more of these functional studies, we can really leverage uh, newly uh, developed technologies in genome engineering, where we can start making very tiny mutations or deletions, or we, we move sequences around in the genome. And this is really, uh, here at UMass, several laboratories have really world-class expertise in genome editing. So this allows us to look at this structure and say, look, these particular sequences play a critical role in building this structure. That is what we can see in the structure. Let's take these sequences away or move them around and see what happens to the function. 